Dude, look at the freaking range on this thing. If I have the pistol out, can't even shoot at him. But check this out. Boom! From here, I can and I will. Dude, the range on this thing is insane. I did just hear some more zombies get spawned in. I also just saw the next laser beam. Oh my god, they can happen in multiple areas now. Is that the twist? Oh, that's not a good twist. Oh, we're playing Twister now, folks. And I, I, did, I did not stretch. Speaking of last day out of laboratory update, we are here next to the most lethal janitor on planet Earth. Start, what are you talking about? Go to the link in the top of the description. Check out our playlist of this new update so far because we have pretty much discovered that not only can we trade with him on the first floor, but on the second floor, if you have the right perk, which luckily for us, we do, he will literally just go freaking karate kid on some other truckers with his broomstick and absolutely mop the floor with them no pun intended it's via this thing right here the housekeeping perk which you unlock at reputation level three and reputation is something you can gain from items in hard mode from time to time you have to clear up after guests and sometimes you need to clear the guests out that is kind of extra handy when dealing with hard mode because uh it's extra hard we can actually only damage enemies well technically we can damage enemies with everything however it will only do one damage like every bullet of our mini uzi will only do one damage but Via the power of armor-piercing weapons, we can do more. And those are highly necessary. And also, we have a crazy boss battle awaiting us at the end of Sector B2 today because we already cleared out in this new update, Sector B1 and B2 in normal mode. And now we are doing, and we've already done Sector A1 in hard mode, Sector A2 in hard mode, and Sector B1 in hard mode, and Sector B2 in hard mode does Await. But first, I want to let you guys know about this awesome, easy way to make some extra money for free that I found out about through the awesomeness of Opinion Outpost, which literally lets you get paid for sharing your opinion. You can even be making money while you're like watching Netflix up at night and can't sleep, waiting for your friends literally anywhere and everywhere. I've already given it a go, and this is seriously perfect for making a little bit of extra cash, especially for those of y'all mobile gamers out there, such as, uh, for example, this last day on Earth that we're playing, where you can actually make a little bit of money to go and spend on some stuff in the game. Heck, you can even multitask and be grinding some last today on Earth while also knocking out some surveys for that double whammy to get yourself in a better position in the game. So make sure to go to that link at the very tippity top of the description and start making some money. I did want to say huge thank you to Opinion Outpost for sponsoring the video and supporting the channel. And this is going to be our greatest challenge so far because as you can tell, the pickings are a little slim. Now, from what I remember, I think it took us about maybe five armor-piercing weapons to get through the last sector, not counting the boss. Speaking of which, oh my goodness gracious, the bosses, dude, un they just reach a whole new level in hard mode. Again, that playlist at the top of the description will have, it will tell all. But, uh, yeah, so I think we need about five armor-piercing weapons, which at the moment, we do not have. And that's not even counting the boss battle, which, by the way, bad news bears, the bosses are going to be extra tough for us. Their health is increased by 40%. And when we activate Sector B2, enemy's maximum health is going to increase by 15%. Luck is not on our side in every way but that's okay and uh we are gonna make our way through this because ladies and gentlemen as you know i'm always willing to risk it for the biscuit i'm always willing to put some pain and suffering into my wallet if it means that y'all y'all's eye holes can enjoy and feast your eyes on this update in its entirety especially because i imagine most of y'all will probably not be able to do this what i've learned through this hard mode run is that this is the greatest challenge that last day on earth has to offer so much so i've been having i i just it's 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 the toughest freaking encounter I've ever had in Last Day on Earth, and nothing comes close. And it's only gonna get tougher. We've literally, every sector just keeps on getting tougher, and now we have the last sector of them all, Sector B2 in hard mode, awaiting us. So things are gonna get a little bit crazy. And in order to fuel us on that craziness, ya yeah boy, I made a sacrifice to my wallet for all y'all's beautiful people out there. We're gonna be popping open a few of these gunsmith crates because there is a chance that we get the neutralizer, the protector, the equalizer, and even for the first time, potentially the ultimatum, all armor piercing weapons and the ultimatum, 110 damage as well. I am so excited for that. I would love to have that. And I mean, hopefully we can get it. So ladies and gentlemen, I need your help right here and right now. Hit that like button because we all know that as a YouTuber, I harness all of my power from that marvelous freaking button down there. And I need all the power in the universe right now so we can hopefully get some good luck of the draw 
and hopefully get a few armor piercing weapons sent our way ideally three weapons i think will get us at least to the boss at the end if we play our cards right so without further ado let's get to it ladies and gentlemen and that is not armor piercing it is a kalashnikov 47 beautiful weapon not what i need glock might not what i need harpoon you would think a harpoon would freaking pierce the bejesus out of people but it is not ah the wrong extremely rare I caramba, bro, and that is already four crates, and with a fifth crate, another! Can I get the other sniper rifle, please, game? Please? Okay, we're about one-fourth of the way through, and yet to see a single armor-piercing weapon that is not the luck of the draw I was hoping for. Oh, no. And this is why, again, ladies and gentlemen, this is not something I would recommend y'all do. But let's go, baby, the neutralizer. Love to see that. This thing's so versatile. You're so mobile with it. It's got a decent fire rate. Love to see that. So at least we got one. Hopefully our luck picks up here in the latter half of these crates. And to all of y'all folks who are holding out that like button hit, I need you. Come on. We need all the power in the universe right now to get this thing right here. But yeah. Right now, hard mode, you gotta stockpile a ton of these guns. But for the sake of y'all's people, because I want y'all to see absolutely all as much as possible as soon as possible so y'all can kind of assess for yourselves how you want to potentially play this out. And also just to see the new content. Listen, y'all, I'm willing to risk it for the biscuit, so... Let's get to risking it, baby. Let's get to risking it. Let's go! The ultimatum is ours! Wow! Oh, baby! I am excited! We are going to have some fun at that. And once we hit reputation level 10 in hard mode, we can hopefully start getting these from our sector openings as well. By the way, we should also be able to open up a sector B plus crate today as well, too. Let's continue popping these puppies open, dude. Ideally, just one more. One more armor piercing weapon is on. Let's go another neutralizer. I'll take that, dude. Come on, five more crates. If you give me one more on top of that, that'll be the cherry on top that I didn't know I needed until now. Por favor, baby, please brush at your So diamonds, so please, 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 please. With the final crate. Ah, let's go. The equalizer. Yes. I think we got the arsenal that we need, boys and girls. And bless up because I really did not want to buy any more gunsmith crates. Because, dude, it's not a guaranteed thing, man. Like, literally, only a few of these guns are what we're looking for. Uh, I'm, I'm just letting you guys know right now. I don't think I'm going to be opening up these gunsmith crates in the future. Chasing these armor-piercing things. The next time we do hard mode. I mean, I'm going to be stockpiling armor-piercing weapons from repeated laboratory normal mode runs. And uh, even if we do do hard mode, what I would say right now, I think the best bang for your buck, the best way of doing hard mode, because uh, I'm not going to lie to you, the Sector B plus crates, we're going to see what the B plus crates do drop. But so far, the only thing the Sector B plus gives you differently than A plus, which is A1 and A2 in hard mode, is just the key cards. Otherwise, though, you get the same stuff. You get the same reputation items, which then end up, uh, which one, you can turn in over top side so what i'm talking about is this over here with ava so and this is how you of course can level up your reputation and ultimately start working your way up towards better rewards our next reward y'all can see is a new random perk that housekeeping perk i was talking about earlier is kind of a guaranteed random perk that we do get but reputation items you get throughout every sector so i'm not gonna lie best bang for your buck might be just doing sector a1 and then sector a2 up until the boss at the end because the boss is I mean, dude, the only, like, we got extremely lucky to beat the A2 boss, and I don't know if we'll be able to do it again, at least for a hot minute. So, like, the best bang for your buck, the best way to play this, I think so far from what I've seen, is just going to clear out Sector A1 and Sector A2 up until the boss, and do not fight the boss in Sector A1. And you should be able to collect some reputation items, slowly work your way up the laboratory reputation ladder, and you won't have to fight any ridiculously difficult zombies. Obviously, they have armor, but hopefully through normal laboratory runs, through opening up A cards and B cards over here, you will be able to stockpile a little bit of a stockpile of armor-piercing weapons. Also, as you level up your reputation, again, you like I think once you unlock the ultimatum at level 10, not only do you get it once guaranteed here, but also you have a chance of getting it if this works similarly uh, to the reputation system of the sewer i believe you also have a chance of getting those items inside of these crates so you we might be able to start seeing the ultimatum actually pop up inside of that crate or inside of these crates as well so that's just another thing to keep your eyes and ears peeled upon us so i'm gonna go and grab the seaburn combat helmet by the way we might need that for like a gas room in this upcoming room but uh yeah and then hopefully as you level up your reputation you also should be able to start getting from what it says, I believe you can start getting more armor-piercing weapons. You have a better chance of getting armor-piercing weapons inside of each of these, including the normal mode crates, as your reputation goes up, and your reputation is going to mainly go up through doing hard mode runs. So, again, I just think early analysis, I think the best way of doing things is going to be 
hard mode, sector A1, and sector A2. Because to get to B1, unfortunately, you gotta beat the A2 boss. I'm just gonna say the A2 boss does not give you... <sighs> oh yeah, see, I'm allergic to the A2 boss. He does not give you great bang for your buck, all things considered. And speaking of which, uh, yeah, he just takes a lot. If he if you die battling him, he goes back to full health to defeat, and you have to do all your damage again. It's just not a good idea. But if you just kind of like do your sectors normally, right? The zombies you encounter, even if you die to one of them, they should still be damaged when you come back, you know? And like your body respawns here, so there's a few things to keep in mind. And also when it comes down to it too, this is something we're gonna show in sector B too, but I've been showing it throughout all the sectors that we've been doing. The best way that you wanna approach this is kind of don't do optional side rooms. Don't, uh, also we gotta see this thing. Oh my goodness, dude, look at that. That is awesome. Look at this sniper rifle in all of its glory, baby. Whoa! That thing is a beaut, baby. Oh, we mama. What's it sound like? Oh, baby. It, it does kind of take a second to shoot, which is honestly kind of unfortunate. This thing is a ridiculously slow fire speed, but nonetheless, man, we'll see it in action. For sure, for sure, for sure. Because uh, it is one of the... What is this? One of the six weapons we have to tackle things right now, so... We're gonna have to make use of it. But yeah, long story short, the best bang for your buck with doing the hard mode for what we've seen from all these sectors so far. Just a little bit of quick advice before we start this out is again, you definitely wanna get the pass perk at some point because that gets you an extra chest per sector and chests are gonna be the best thing you can possibly hope for because you get a ton of, re you get reputation points inside of it that you can turn in. And then you also get some of these like sector cards, which again, it's just gonna be very, very big, but okie dokie. Without further ado, enough talky talky. Let's try and find Hopefully it disables all the traps in the lab doesn't work on bosses. I'm not gonna lie. I might I might activate this dude I kind of don't know if I want to deal with traps Although there is that one trap does the laser beam count as a trap that blows open that wall if so I might actually pass on the emergency button. I don't know If I want to do the emergency button Ah man, I don't know. I don't I just because we can actually use a trap to open up a door But I don't know if that counts as a trap or not so we're gonna have to see. Deactivates all the traps in the lab and deals damage to all nearby enemies. Doesn't work on bosses. Ah. Uh, all right, man, YOLO. I might, se I might send new rules. If it happens, it happens. You know. Immunity to stun effects. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie. Especially with the boss battle coming up, this might be really good. I don't know if we want even a possibility of being stunned in that boss battle. All right, YOLO, we'll take Iron Head. This could have been handy because it does deal damage to nearby enemies. And like, depending on how much damage it does, that could be huge. I don't know. We're, we're gonna definitely be trying out a lot more perks now that we have this kind of like hard mode to think about. And it's just like a whole, whole new way to tackle things. But all right, let's activate the Iron Head. Immunity to stun effects. And at the debuff that we get, enemies maximum health is increased by 15%. Not what I was looking for here, but oh my god, dude, look at the freaking range on this thing. If I have the pistol out, can't even shoot at him. But check this out. Boom! From here, I can and I will, dude. The range on this thing is insane in the membrane. However, it has to be long because look at how long it takes to fire this freaking thing. Insane in the brain! Alright, let's continue juking you around a little bit. So they have way more health than they should have, which is annoying. We're gonna get a few bullets into you there and then you have seven health left i'm gonna finish you off with the uzi dude i do not want to be wasting Ooh, piece of candy that's what i was talking about these are reputation items we can turn in for ava back top side but uh yeah if, if someone has a few health honestly we really do not want to use a neutralizer so i'll whip out the mini uzi it has a fast fire rate we should be able to do a little bit of damage relatively quickly but dude that's another thing about this gun let's go dude that's another perk we have active shout out to the janitor the realest mvp on the planet if you get that perk one room per sector just automatically gets cleared out let's freaking go dude and he took down a slash that's a pretty tanky enemy you'll love to see that i like when it gets quiet here you can see the broomstick that he used to cause that chaos and there is the next enemy. We got to take that guy down to activate that next little thing. So without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, boop. Let's just go on and get another snipe. We should be able... Yeah, there we go. We were able to get like two shots off for some of these enemies that we can outrun. We can definitely get that separation that we need before we shoot off the next shot. But like the durability on this thing, man. Whoop, let's get a little bit of separation there. Yeah, the durability on this thing, man. 
not exactly the best thing in the universe, eh? Like, look at it. It's already down quite a bit. I might try not to use that too much because that... It gives us a nice little way to encounter some enemies, like, from afar. Very conveniently. Now, this next room is kind of annoying because I, if I remember correctly, it is a room filled to the brim with gas. Let's make sure a parasite doesn't come out of that. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, this is why I got my saw blade mace. I already see my friend, the rambler, bambler, uh, shambler up in here, baby. Hey, 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 baby. How you doing? Yeet! Let's go and chop that little arm off of yours. And we should be able to do significantly more damage. However, this is a tanky enemy, dude. Even with all this damage we're doing, even with his armor, or even if with his arm gone, I wish his armor was gone, still a tanky, tanky fella. But guess what? Not tanky enough. And there you go. We got him down to 10 health. I'm not wasting a neutralizer bullet on you. What I will do is finish you off with that oozy jacuzzi, baby. Now, here is the thing. What I'm seeing about this floor looks like actually we're not guaranteed to activate the gas. As long as we kind of like try not to trigger those freaking laser traps, we can actually get past this room without anything happening. Let's freaking go! Okay. This is going kind of smooth so far. I see a parasite. Where's that parasite coming from? I don't know. He's already crawling towards us. Why are you already crawling towards us, dude? Oh, no, 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 no. There you go, dude. Okay, well, some of them were freaking trying to attack us through the wall. I'm going to try and get the... Uh... Oh, no! Okay, the room's poisoned! That's what I was hoping to avoid! Oh, man, that is most unfortunate. Okay, and I have a lot of enemies coming after me now. I was so close to pulling it off. I was just trying to bring these fellas back to somewhere where I got a little bit more maneuvering room. Oh, my God, and a fetid corpse. Yeah, dude, that could have gone much smoother. There's this freaking parasite here. He has armor, too. I got to try to kill that guy before he gets hit off on us. The parasites are always suspiciously heavy hitting. Come on, Mr. Parasite. How close are you to dying here? Oh, man, he's not even close, dude. He's just so slow, too. It's, like, so hard to kind of, like, kite and train him around because of the fact that he's so much slower versus his comrades. But oh, there we go. We got the hit off on him. And marvelous. This neutralizer should be more than enough to take these fellas down. But, dude, the fact that that trap was activated, it's definitely good to know for next time that there are those laser trip wires. I did not notice those the first time around. So uber, uber good to know that if we play our cards right, we should actually be able to get into that room or get past that room. Oh, no, he's farting. Okay, he's done farting. I was just gonna get that Uzi because I believe these enemies right here. Yes, they do not have armor. Bless up. The babies that get birthed do not have armor. Only the ones that crawl out of vents. They've been preparing for this moment. The babies, not so much. And beautiful. There's some more stuff coming. Oh, way. Okay, okay, okay. That is so obnoxious, dude. Uh, From what I think the Seaburn combat helmet, how much damage do we take here? 12 damage per second. I think if we have the combat helmet equipped, we actually take a little bit less per second. Yeah, we only take six per second, so that's kind of nice. We still get freaking neurotoxined, which decreases our max health, but we'll roll with those punches as they come. No worries, no worries, folks. Let's get these things uh, back up top side. Uh, get our two neutralizers equipped. Definitely gonna be our weapons of choice. Another thing that I'm looking forward to, too. Ooh, hoo, hoo. we didn't encounter the treasure lurker yet, which was teased for this update. I wonder if he's like specific to sector B2 or something. He honestly yeah. might be. So that is something to look forward to as well. And y'all can already see, is someone gonna crawl out of there? No, no one's crawling out of there. No more people crawling out of there, but we should be able to go ahead and pop this thing open. Hello, hello. Yeah. Anybody crawling out of there? No, we should be good. And at least from what I'm seeing, I don't think there's a chest in that little side room. I'll go and check really quickly. But I'm not seeing a chest icon appearing on the map, so I don't think there's any reason to go and check out that room. But there is a reason to check out this room, because again, it's got a chest inside of it, and this chest is some gear. I can't open it until my freaking poisoning wears off. You done yet? Oh, that thing's gonna keep going. Well, okay, there you go. Now that it's done, we can open this puppy up, and this is where you get the best bang for your buck, man. Look at that. Four key card B pluses, a few of these reputation things. Mwah! Magnifique, baby. You'll love to see it. Let's just go and equip our better helmet. Looks as good as the Seaburn Combat Helmet is. The Kevlar Helmet is a little bit better. It does not provide the air protection that we get, but it's still pretty darn tootin' good. And uh, there are the weapons that we still have ready to go. Definitely want to save an equalizer and I think a neutralizer for the boss battle at the end. The equalizer neutralizer seems like the best wombo combo. Use the equalizer until the recoil starts kicking in and then switch to the neutralizer. You stay relatively mobile. The other armor-piercing weapons, like the ultimatum, and I don't have it with me anymore. I used it all, but the protector, they're just a little bit slow to fire. Not the best for boss battles, but anyways. 
I digress. Let's pop open the next doorway. And oh my goodness gracious. That is a lot of zombies, dude. Why are there so many already attacking me? Oh, no, no, no. Let's get a little bit of separation. I'm trying to take y'all down now. Uh, one by one. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to send it. I'm not even gonna bother running away. I'm just gonna try to kill you as soon as possible. And beautiful. Well, it could have been more beautiful, but oh, I don't remember there being that many enemies in this room, man. Holy guacamole. Well, you know what? Again, gotta roll with the punches. We do have to worry about some freaking faulty AC in this room, but such is life, baby. Such is life. Can I snipe anyone? Anyone want to get snapped? I cannot snipe them. Oh, actually, let's go. I managed to snipe that guy. Beautiful. So I can take them down. Oh, the frozen giant. No, no, no. Do not want to be dealing with you. This guy does a lot of damage. But if we play our cards right, we should be able to whoop. Oh my god. Even if I dodge him, he heals? Get out of here, dude. That's illegal. That's illegal. How you doing that? Okay, he's gonna heal one more time. Oh no, I got stuck. I got stuck. I got way more stuck than I should have been. Oh no, that's such a waste. That's such a waste. We just wasted so much weapon durability. How'd he hit us all the way from there, dude? Oh no, 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 no. This is at, you know what? YOLO, man. We need more separation. Ah, uh, I don't care if I get a little bit of poison. Anything to stay away from this guy. Absolutely not. I am not allowing him to take me down, but I will allow myself to snap him to death. Beautiful. All right. A little bit more poison coming our way. So be it. So be it. But dude, oh my God. Those guys are extra annoying in hard mode. They literally heal a hundred health. That we used a lot more armor piercing weaponry than we had to there, but such is life, me Buddha. Such is life. And this being the freaking, this is the, this is the sector of traps, man. There's so many different traps awaiting us. All right, let's go and uh, eat up a little bit. Um, nom, nom, nom. Chow down, chow down. Boop, let's go. One more, one more. And beautiful. All right, can I, or am, I, can, am I sure I can't, like, hit this freaking numb zombie from here? That'd be awesome if I could bring him my way before I venture into the air conditioning of Doom. Yeah, I think we got to bring him our way, the old-fashioned way. All right, getting all up in his grill. So if you'll excuse me, let's get to grilling. First things first, I also do want to see, is this door like open now? No, this door is still stuck. Where does this door go, dude? What does this door do? Like, when does it open? It was also stuck in normal mode. Like, is this like a super special door? Is this like only open when we like defeat hard mode? The last sector or something? I don't know, man. Time, we're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna chill for a second. And uh, I'm just going to try to, boop, there you go. Take down the numb zombies, they're beautiful. Actually, this is kind of manageable. Two numb zombies, we can definitely kind of take that down. Oh no, I'm freezing, I'm freezing to death. Please tell me this wears off. Okay, it wears off. Oh, oh, close call. That's what I get for trying to pick up my loot, man. That's what I get. All right, let's just go and take that now before I freeze anymore. Where does it get toastier, is it? Oh no, a spewer comes out of there, dude, that's illegal. I haven't seen a spewer in a minute. Oh no, this is not what I was looking for, folks. This is not the encounter I was looking for, luckily. Shout out to the Equalizer, my knight in shining armor! Die! Oh no, dude, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. If you keep on firing, those misses start stacking up way too quick. And these side rooms, man, there might be a chest in one of them, but we are not messing with any side rooms until we get to the absolute end of this all. And that means we go to another room right over here. And oy vey! Some tough cookies of enemies awaiting us. Now, luckily, only a few of them attacked us so far. So we can try to take them down one by one. There you go. Juggernaut down. Let's go and take down the slasher. He did manage to slash us a little bit, but so be it. I got some medical supplies ready to go. I am getting cornered. That's not good. Not at all. And we'll just kind of take him down a little bit more. Now, I'm not going to lie. We might need to get some more freaking armor-piercing weapons for the boss at the end. Because the way this is going, I don't know how the bot, like... I'm running low, folks. I'm running a little bit on the low side. <laughs> for these weaponries. All right, then what is this boss man we have here? The Juggernaut. Okay, I will snipe you from a distance, dude. I, that is so cool. You can also, like, identify enemies from so far away. Let's get a few of these hits up into there, and then we'll go ahead and finish you off with the Equalizer. Oh, my God, those misses are brutal, dude, because even missed shots lose durability. I hate that so much. Also, I'm not going to lie. This, let's make sure no, nothing comes out of there. Nothing came out of there. This sector is seriously one where it might be handy to turn off the traps, dude. It might be, like, really nice. But anyways, we now have this freaking electrical death trap room to get through. Uh, there's no zombies that I'm able to detect from afar, but there is... Uh, is that the toxic spewer acid melter? Aw, oh, dude. Don't tell me that's who I think it is. Dude, if that's a spewer, that's actually going to be kind of annoying too. And there's going to be an enemy over there that's probably going to notice us. Yeah, things might get foggy, lots. Things might get a little bit foggy. But so be it. Onwards and upwards we go. Tally-ho!
Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, just a scientist up there. He'll get to us eventually. That's an acid melter. Okay. He's gonna melt my armor. Ain't that awesome. And then we got the scientist coming up for us. Hey, scientist pal, how you doing? This is like the first easy enemy I've seen so far. <laughs> Let's go and reverse this trap here. It'll start spinning the other way and we can actually get past this room. And then next, I think we have the room of auto turret, death and doom. That might also be a kind of bad room. We might want to grab some armor before we get past that room. I'm not going to lie. It might get kind of out of hand kind of quickly. All right, okie dokie, folks. We got on our hands a fresh set of Kevlar armor to boot. So if the going gets rough, we do have something to fall back on. Just the main reason for that is that it's going to be kind of annoying to double back through this room once we get past it. So I'd rather come semi-prepared. I mean, this is as prepared as we're going to be, dude. We're down to our last three armor-piercing weapons, and we still have a few rooms to go before we even get to the boss, so it's looking to be a little bit tough. And, dude, okay, you know what? I'll take my chances. I'll eat some electricity. I am not dealing with the toxic spewer in that arena of death, doom, and destruction. That is not on my bucket list, baby. I am not doing that. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Let's get a few more bolts up into him. He is very close to dying. Boop. And there you go. He's dead. And okay. Now we should be able to handle this. We can get past this room pretty easy peasy. Hopefully no one crawls out of that. Beautiful, no one crawled out of that. And let's go and open up this doorway. Get through here. Oh, dude, there's a fetid corpse on the other side of this room. Luckily, we have this Seaburn combat helmet, so I will not smell his breakfast burrito farts! And beautiful, after using a little bit of our equalizer, switch to our neutralizer, then back to the equalizer just to get the maximum effect. Uh, what should I call? Uh, and just kind of account for the recoil. And boom, see you later, alligator. The fetid corpse is taken care of. We're up to 44 of the B plus guards, man. We're so close. And uh, let's see what's inside door number two. If I recall correctly, it's the room of turrets. Oh, and a spore runner. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Okay, two relatively easier zombies. I will definitely take that. Oh, dude, our equalizer is running a little bit low. I honestly hope we can get one more equalizer before this is all over. I mean, to be fair, Right? We should be able... I mean, the way these cards are stacking up, we might be able... To get... 50 B-plus cards before we get to the boss. And hopefully get a few armor-piercing weapons from the B-plus crate. Ah! Ah, maybe, maybe. Oh, oh, dude, actually, this is where this might come super in handy. Hopefully... I can shoot... We do not want to get caught in th that stuff, right? That's the last thing we want to do, but... Boop! Oh, hold up. Boop, there you go. We're gonna go and kind of use our sniper rifle. Dude, this thing's actually so handy, man. Just for the fact that we can aggro enemies from uber far away makes life incredibly easier. Because that's one of the most annoying parts about this little section, too, is the fact that... I mean, if one of these turrets detects us, it's gonna be really bad. Like, really bad. But uh, using this stuff, we should be able to kind of be a little bit more protected. And okay. We just want to keep our eyes peeled on this stuff. We do not want to be caught in any of those corridors. Like, look at those light beams. We want to go and hide behind that thing in a way where we won't trigger either of these lights. Which hopefully this will accomplish right here. Oh my god, and it caught us, dude! That's so annoying. Oh no. And this is going to make it really annoying to get that last guy to attack us. So... I mean, hopefully our armor holds up. That's all that I got to say. Because the turrets of anger, dude, it's so... Like, you got... This one, I feel like this is the most annoying one to hide behind because there's like two turrets you gotta kind of watch out for. Anyways, these are the strongest turrets on the planet. They will be able to see us from afar. And uh, we just kind of got to do our best with the hand that we're dealt. Hello, Toxic Spewer. How you doing? Okay, and we're just gonna go and whoop, double back the bejesus out of here. Those turrets are 360 degree turrets. They will attack us from every way, shape, form, or fashion. And you know what? This is also an awful room to be stuck inside because it's also very tight quarters. And we're still being shot at sometimes if we're at a bad angle. At least the Toxic Spewer hasn't spewed yet. I'll, I'll definitely take that, man. That makes things... Oh my god, I had opened my big fat mouth. That makes things a little bit more annoying. But okay, the Spewer's down. Bless up for that. I'll take that to the bank. We're still bleeding, but we're also self-healing to counteract the bleeding. And the Equalizer is broken. We are down to just the Neutralizer. That and the Sniper Rifle thing whose name I forget because I'm too busy panicking about everything that's going on in life right now. Okie dokie, there you go, that's taken care of. Um, These are our last two armor-piercing weapons, folks. We really need to get a few more of these B-plus cards, man. <laughs> We're down bad. But alright. I say it's about time 
I don't know, man. Let's not swap into the set of Kevlar until this stuff is like absolutely about to break. And we just kind of want to continue. Just kind of ah, take a cover. Ah, little by little. Oh, no. Okay, so this is like the sweet spot, man. We got to remember that for next time so we don't get shot. Just a little bit of durability left. Ah, there you go. And okay, now I'm going to swap into this. I'm going to keep the low durability Kevlar. I'll probably like recycle it or something. You know, maybe, maybe I'll get something out of it. If not, I'll save it. Maybe one day we'll be able to repair it. I'm not just going to get rid of freaking Kevlar. And there you go. That's taken care of. And luckily, there's no more enemies besides these turrets for us to worry about. So all that we got to do is get past turret Magoo over here. Uh, um, Yeah, I'm going to use that first aid kit right there. And send it. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We are safe, folks. We made it. And this, I believe, is the last room before the boss battle. It waits. And who do we have to worry about here? We got a toxic spewer. My favorite. All right. I'm just going to try to shoot him from afar. Oh, man. And this is going to be a very annoying enemy to fight because I real like, we just have, like, nowhere to run, man. Absolutely nowhere to run. Honestly, dude, I think I know what we got to do. We got to freaking double back through here. If YOLO, I'm going to eat a few turret shots. That's okay. It's for the greater good. I got to take down this toxic spewer. I got more armor to spare than I do guns. So, yes. It is what it is. Okay, come on, man. Let's not get, let's not do too much spitting here, okay? Come on. I don't know. Listen, you're not, you're, 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 don't be a spitter. There you go. He's taken care of. Okay. Now with him down, at least we should, oh my God. Look at all, look at all the dirt building those turrets eat up. That's why I did not want to double back through there, man. Uh, why do we have to get a toxic spewer, dude? But at least we should have a little bit more room to play with now. So that'll be good. And don't mind me. Just going to continue kind of like running around. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, baby. Don't hurt me no more. What is love? Okay. Beautiful. There is another enemy at the long end of this hallway. What is this enemy? Hello, enemy. What are you? If you say another toxic spewer, dude, I'm going to go ballistic. Okay. It's a juggernaut. I can deal with the juggernaut. Let's neutralize him from afar. And he's taken care of. We got an exploder over there. We're just gonna snipe him from afar. And okay, we have angered everybody. Why have we angered everybody? Oh no, dude, this is really bad. I, I can't get cornered here. I'm getting cornered here. Oh no. Okay. Uh. Okay, this is okay. As long as I shoot the slasher before I get out of here. Beautiful, beautiful. Exploder, do you wanna go boom? Not yet, not yet. Okay, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna continue running around a little bit. I'm gonna go and equip that Uzi as our kind of secondary weapon. Why? Because as the Exploder, as soon as the Exploder takes a few more damage, he's gonna decide to go boom. And when that happens, I have a few Parasites that I really need to kill. There you go. And Parasites die! Be gone! Okay, the Parasites are almost dead. Luckily, we can kind of like kite around a little bit here. But I'm not gonna lie. I'm running a little bit low on our Neutralizer here. Which is not good. But it should be just enough to take down that slasher. Sadly, it is not enough for us to have the 50 key card B pluses that we need. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. And I also don't remember which one of these rooms lead to what, by the way. Another thing that I'm kind of scared of. I know that this one goes forward. Or no. This one goes forward. That one goes to the side room. But I'm kind of scared because I'm pretty sure that that summons new enemies. Yeah, I can already hear them, dude. Ay, caramba. And I think there's a chest inside of there. So we do got to take down these enemies before we move forward. I mean, we still got the last little bit of the sniper. I guess we could go and activate this thing. We do have to move it out the way first, but I just kind of want to see it shoot. Look at that, dude. Is that not satisfying watching that laser beam go? Okay, now that, the, now that it's gone... We're going to open up these thing here. We still have not run into the treasure lurker. I'm still mad sus about that, dude. He's got to be in there. I don't know how this is going to go. But anyways, now once we activate this, that should destroy that wall and open it up. And okay, we got a scientist. We're going to... We got another scientist. Then what's that last enemy in that corner? A spore runner. Okay, this is kind of doable. These are all kind of weak enemies. I think we can do this with just our mini Uzis. It's gonna be annoying, but YOLO, dude. It's gotta be done. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Luckily, like I'm saying, man, it's only gonna be a few damage at a time. But so be it, me, bruda. So be it. I got a few mini Uzis, 
and there's not gonna be many more opportunities to use them. And I'd like to save all of our armor piercing weapons that are possible. And we should get the last few B plus cards that we need inside of that next chest over there. Like the least amount I've seen is four in a chest. And we're at 46, so literally the perfect amount. Although this is so annoying. I'm gonna do one damage at a time, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. That's how you gotta play your cards if you wanna try to be efficient. At least they're not healing zombies, dude. If these were healing zombies, no way we'd be able to do this. Literally no way. And okay, okay, let's go and equip that. And I mean, like we're blowing through multiple Uzis here, folks. I might need to start punching these things to death. I might wanna take off my armor for that. Cause uh, misses stockpile up quickly. This is not my Uzi that I modified, by the way, for peak efficiency in terms of recoil control. This is just the fastest Uzi I can mod together. So I can just get as many, I mean, listen, I might not, I might still be doing one damage per hit, but I'm doing a lot of one damage, you know? I'm getting a ton of bullets off every time I run around. I'm doing like 10 damage little sprays here, 10 damage volleys. And man, if I could just take down like the weakest link, that'd actually be awesome. That'll make this a lot easier. Please and thank you. And I'd honestly like to save that sniper rifle, dude. So I could try to uh, hang it up on my wall or something like that. <laughs> But uh, we might need to use it, folks. We might need to use it. Did I just go naked and start fighting these dudes? All right, YOLO. YOLO. Naked stars making an appearance. Oh, we mama. We are punching these dudes to death. Okay, I don't know if that's the best strat. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, th th it's the fact that there's just like three of them, man. That makes it so annoying. And like, I think the sniper rifle. Should I put on some clothes? I don't know. Yay! Okay. Yay! Oh, no, hold up, dude. As long as I can actually hold up. As long as I can take down... That freaking, uh, how much health does the Spore Runner have? How much health? 85? Yay! There you go! That was sadly the last hit, but now it's time for Mano Imano! 1v1 me, scientist, bro! You will never stand a chance, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, like my mentor once told me! Or was it sting like a butterfly, float like a bee? I don't remember! But listen, in a 1v1, it's possible to do this. It might take some medical supplies, but especially if you have the evade perk, I mean, slowly but surely, I will punch the scientists to death. And alrighty, folks, here's the moment of truth. Naked man star takes on hard mode. Let's go! Death to the scientist, and thank you for that stuff right there, Sunny Jimbo. Now, there's a vent over there. I, I, I literally don't have any more guns, dude. And I hear zombies. I feel like something's gonna come out of that vent and it might be a parasite. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Good news though. I did have, I'm gonna go and put the freaking almost broken Kevlar on, by the way. I did have a freaking cult over here in my inventory. I don't use these things much and I don't know. YOLO. I had, I had it in my inbox. Let's freaking use it. Cause I feel like something's gonna crawl out of there. Yup and yup. It's armored. So we gotta try and do 50 bullets of damage to this guy. And I'm just saying, man, I don't know if the Parasite is a guy we want to be getting into a melee tussle with, so I'm just gonna go and Colt 45 and two zigzags. The Parasite is all I need. We could go and kill him immediately and open up that chest I need. Uh, this song needs a little bit of work, but anyways. We've done about 25 damage and we've only used up one fourth of the Colt. So it looks like the Colt actually has 100 bullets. So I think once we kill this Parasite, if my math isn't off, the Colt should be at exactly half health. So kind of a cool little mini test that we have performed. Parasite, my friend, my comrade, you suck for showing up, but it's okay, you are dead now. And I will go ahead and collect uh, this thing right over there. Bring it our grand total up to 50 of the key card B. Pluses. Now, folks, I think you know what that means. It's time for Naked Star to make a return, and we gotta get through this freaking turret room without dying. Luckily, I had myself healing perk, heal it up and out a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We'll heal up, and there you go. We gotta get back. And, dude, this is the thing. Once you get past this room, you're kind of stuck here, dude. You're kind of just, like, out of luck. Uh, so I will go ahead and equip our Kevlar armor. We should be able to survive this electricity. Not by much, but, yo, a little electricity never hurts someone. Except that guy Thomas Edison or whatever, I don't know. The guy who got hit by lightning. Yeah, he didn't have a great time with it. And yeah, we've still, oh, like, I, I'll hold up. Hopefully we don't freeze to death here. Okay, not too much. Oh, we have the room of gas. This is gonna be annoying. But then we do have the B plus crate to pop open. And hopefully we'll get what we need to prepare us for the boss battle. I really hope it's enough, man. I, I say we need like three good freaking 
I'd say I think like I think three good armor piercing weapons, man. If we don't have that, I really don't think that we can get past this fella. It's gonna be ridiculously difficult. Ava! I'm sorry, wait, I got this. Like, this mask does not fit the drip at all. There you go, let's equip that. Ava, do I have an announcement for you? Actually, Ava doesn't care. Although I can turn in some more of these hard mode items and boop. That's not even another level. How close am I? Only 62%? Jeeba Liba, dude, this stuff ramps up quickly. It's gonna take a lot to keep leveling up, dude. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It actually might take a hot freaking minute to get to level 30, man, because. Wowza, I thought I would level up a little bit more. Anyways, I digress. We got 50 of the B-plus crates, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the final crate opening of this hard mode run without further ado. Bada bing, bada boom, B-plus. What do you got in store for me? Let's go. That's nice. That's nice. We got a set of Kevlar. We got a reanimator. Even more of the energy cells. I'm like, oh my, three of these are two protectors, which unfortunately I don't think are going to really work out too well in the boss battle coming up. Uh, the mill core though, like, okay, dude, I'm not gonna lie. Th a decent loot. Is it worth getting 50 of these cards? I don't know. That's a hot take, but definitely, I, I'm happy, man. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. I wish it wasn't the protector though. It's just too slow firing to effectively use during a boss battle, I think, especially with the challenge that we have coming up. So, uh, unfortunately, I think we got to tap into the reserves one last time, folks. Alrighty, hopefully 10 will do the trick. This is for all of y'all watching because, like, let me just say these things. I mean, like, dude, for 10 of them, I mean, 14 bucks is not awful, but I'd rather not spend $14 on this. That's like, I don't know. That's like a nice dinner, man. I'd like to get a nice dinner. <laughs> but for y'all, I will starve tonight. <laughs> Let's go and pop open 10 of these, please, dude. Like, one equalizer. Or just, like, one neutralizer. That would be perfect. That would just be... Mwah! Magnifique. Please. Can I get a little bit of this? I am not getting this. The harpoon, that is not what I need. Why is the harpoon even available in this? Why? Don't have the harpoon in here? Oh, no, dude. I'm getting so many comments. This is brutal. This is very brutal. Ay, caramba! Oh, pain. Alrighty, folks. Let's give it another go. Please can luck be on our side. I just want one more armor-piercing weapon that's a little bit more fully automatic and mobile. After that, I'm done with it, dude. Is it really just, like, the last one that I need to realistically do this? And uh, that's not the extremely rare I wanted. That's not the very rare I wanted. Come on, dude. Come on. I know you want to give me a little bit of luck here. I don't want to keep opening these. Please, 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 please. No, I love scars, but not right now. I love Milkors too, but not right now. For the love of everything, please. Let this be the last And This right here is why y'all should not do this. Do not chase these armor piercing weapons. Do not do what I am doing. I highly adv advise against doing what I'm doing. Let's go. But for the people, I will do things that I maybe sometimes should not, realistically speaking, do. All well being considered. But you know what? My wallet's well being can take a hit because, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, y'all deserve to see some of this. And we just got a few more to go. Maybe we'll get a little bit more lucky. Get our hands on like one more thing here, please. Big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. That's snap, whatever. We'll take it. We'll roll with it, baby. So that right there, ladies and gentlemen, brings our equipment total to an equalizer, a neutralizer, and two protectors. The protectors are not going to be ideal if we have to fall back to them during this boss battle, which might happen because the boss is going to have so much more health than he usually would. So we'll see. And every time we've done a hard mode of bosses so far, they get harder. <gasps> Star, like, yes. No, I know, I know. It's crazy, right? Crazy idea. But, uh... At the very least, like, worst case, hey, we'll still have these protectors because if we die, our stuff gets teleported to the beginning, so that's good. We don't have to go back and defeat the boss to get our stuff back. That'd be evil. So at least we got that going for us. So even then, and that's the good thing, like, about these protectors and stuff. These are very good for taking down, like, literally any enemy that isn't, like, a super powerful boss. So they'll come in handy in our future hard mode runs, for sure, for sure. Because, again, the ideal hard mode run, from what I'm thinking so far... Do sector A1 and A2 and just avoid the bosses and avoid optional rooms. I think that's going to be your best bet. And realistically speaking, if y'all get this threat where the boss's health increases by 40%, yeah, definitely don't try doing a boss. 
Don't even bother with that. That's a death wish and a half. Oh, let's go. This thing freaking reset. Okay. If I can kind of take my little bit of time here and not activate the trip wires. Let's go. I'm just going to do this super, super slow. Going to wait for that thing to shut off in front of me. I know you want to activate, dude. There you go. There you go. Let's make sure not to activate that. Because if you do not activate these trip wires, the gases will not go off in this room. That's kind of like the trick to this trap. So just as soon as one turns off in front of me, just to be super safe, we go forward. And that should be it. Bada boom, bada bing. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully the zombies that crawl out of vents don't come back. I am a little bit worried about those. Because at least from my Bunker Bravo experience, I know that they like to make a reappearance at times. I'd prefer that they don't. But so far, so good on that half two. The Toxic Spear crawled out of that one. Still kind of can't believe that. Let's heal up a little bit. This thing's still going the way we need it to. Ah, we are going to unfortunately get shot at by turrets a bunch. Unless the turrets got reset. No, turrets did not get reset. They still want to kill me. Cool, 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 cool. I get it, I get it, I get it. Uh, yeah, man. We're going to do that a little bit more naked than usual. I'll put the mask on, I guess. But yeah, we're going to do this naked just to not lose weapon or armor durability. Ah, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Ah, do a barrel roll. Let's try to avoid some of those bullets. Hey, continue going. Yeah, okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We got past all that. Now let's go back to our Kevlar armor. We got over half durability, so I like our odds. Let's equip these things, because I, I don't remember if there's more zombies or not until we get to the boss. So I'd rather just have this ready to go. In case we do, we still need to shoot a few zombies, yes? But I think that this doorway here... It leads us to the final boss of hard mode. And goodness gracious. All right. Well, let's equip the proper weaponry. Let's make sure that we're healed up. Get all the medical supplies we can have. Let's activate one of our reanimators. We got another one ready to go if things hit the fan. And hopefully we got the weapon durability to get through this. And again, we want to be careful. Just a quick recap. Throughout this boss battle, laser beams are going to come up in these elevators and try to shoot us. Zombies will appear from these elevators and try to stop us as well. That is where we need our armor-piercing weapons. And of course, to fight the boss themselves. Now, what is the hard mode twist on this boss battle? I don't know. But we're about to find out. And I think if I recall correctly, the boss normally has 2,000 health or something. With that 40% boost, that might bring it up to... I might bring it up to like 2,800, dude. And that's a scary idea, but it's an idea we're gonna roll with, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the grand finale of the laboratory hard mode. How you doing there, buddy boy? Hello, hello. Okay, not as much as I thought. Why does he look more massive than I remember him being? I don't remember. Luckily, I do have a perk where he's not gonna be able to stun me. We're gonna continue kind of keeping our distance. And again, we just wanna be a little bit careful. We do not wanna get caught in that laser beam because that could go extremely poorly. I don't know, like, I feel like he's gonna have some kind of special attack that he's gonna be able to utilize, but I'm not seeing it so far, which is good news. Incredible news, actually, may I add. I really love the way this is going. This is kind of doable, but it's doable until it's not. That's how this stuff goes, you know? And okay, we definitely do not want to get caught up in that. Oh, we do not. This is not going well. We, are, we do not want to get cornered in the middle of this battle. We do want to try and take down some of his little friends. Again, just keep our eye out on some of those elevators. We are doing good. We got about one-fourth of the way. I did just hear some more zombies get spawned in. I also just saw the next laser beam. Oh my god, they can happen in multiple areas now! Is that the twist? Oh, that's not a good twist. Oh, we're playing Twister now, folks, and I, I, didn't, I did not stretch. I definitely did not stretch. Okay. So yeah, we want to really, really be on top of our game here. Oh, we mama. At some point, I'm going to go and actually just like really quickly toss in some more medical supplies. I want to stay on top of the medical supply game to the fullest extent possible. This is still going okay. Still got plenty of this equalizer. Let's make sure you use the neutralizer a little bit. We got him about halfway. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, that was a close one, folks. Way too close for comfort. Ah. Okay, okay. Okay, we managed it though. We managed it. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's not. No, 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 no. Please don't tell me it's gonna come up here. Okay, it's not coming up here at least. Good, 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 good. We're gonna deal with you. One by one. One by one. One by one. The show must go on. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay, barely dodged that. We continue damaging him. 
Okay, okay, okay. Hold up. I want to be careful here. I, I, I hear the things coming up. Okay, but it came up in that far area. We're going to continue taking down these scientists. Oh, our weapon broke. Let's go and swap in. That thing right there. Let's not get caught up in one of his little smashes. That does stun us, even though I have the thing that should stop it from stunning us. You know what? It's a boss battle, so I guess it doesn't work. It is what it is. I think I hear some more freaking elevators coming up. I got some shotgun rain ready to go. Oh, no. Oh, we got stunned. Don't like that. Don't like that. Zero out of ten. Okay, okay, though. A few more shotgun rain blasts. Again, we just want to really stay close to this side so we can see if something's about to happen. If we can see if something's going to come up. It is coming up in two sectors. That's the twist on this boss battle so far. He's literally down to like 200 health. If he like has some kind of like super cheesy final move, he's gonna try to pull out on us. I'm gonna be upset, but we still have our reanimator active. So the lifeline is good. Not to get too excited yet, but ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I gotta say, the home stretch is here. See you later, baby. Let's go. What'd you drop, mother trucker? <laughs> Nothing that makes this boss battle worth it. So I'm just gonna say right now, dude. The only bite. <laughs> oh, let's go. We defeated it. Okay, first it's just basking our. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. What is that over there, dude? I, I see loot over there. Oh, I know what that's from the first sector. I'm sorry. I just gotta. Gotta take a breather here. Wait, so where's the treasure lurker? We still haven't seen the treasure lurker at all. I don't know what's going on with that, but. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh. 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 But yeah, what I would say, y'all can see, once we defeat this boss, there's nothing after that. So I would actually recommend, I mean, this might be the easiest boss out of them all, I would say. I, I would reckon to say B2 might actually be the easiest boss. But even then, it's still a lot of durability. It's still a lot of stuff. And for what he dropped, the, those weapons we used, we could have just used to clear out some sectors normally. And gotten chest loot, which I should have doubled back for and try to find the chest that we missed right now. But, uh, yeah, that actually would probably have been a better way to play things. And now that we defeated the floor, of course, we can double back a lot easier. No traps, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah. Just a little bit of info there. I would recommend that y'all... I mean, if you really want to get the Sector B, the only boss I'd recommend you even consider doing is the A2 boss, but he's still pretty tough. This is the first boss that we defeated without a reanimator, so that's awesome. I'd love to see that. But he's at the end of it all. I don't know. I don't really know if he's worth killing for the loot, man. I don't know. That's up to y'all for the side, but personally, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, that might be a pass from my angle here. Now, could there be beautiful baby that these were the chesties? Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you, thank you. That, I believe, is the last chest. So we actually got super lucky with that. So let's hit him with a shotgun rain. Oh, he's got, like, three health left, brother. Do I have, like, any normal guns? I, I got this thing. Let's go and chop him up. Ah, no, we healed up just in the nick of time. All right. I'll pistol whip you to death, and I'll pop this thing open because these chests are ultimately what you want to be working for. I think they're the ultimate, ultimate prize of any hard mode run. These are the number one thing you want to go for, the chests. Because, like, it, it, I mean, y'all saw, we get some of the freaking sector cards, we get some reputation things, and I don't know, man. The bosses are just so tough, and you have to use so much to get into them. Can I open up this door with, yet? I literally, do. what do I have to do? Do I have to defeat, like, every boss on hard mode to open that thing, or is that thing just not openable? I don't know. Also, why are these laser beams still here? Uh, sir? 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 Ah, no, okay, okay, well, this thing is just gonna trigger anyway. Cool, 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 I'll roll with those punches. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls... There you have it. The laboratory in its entirety. We have officially beat the new sector B1 and B2, activated hard mode, and beat sector A1, sector A2, and sector B1, and sector B2, and it's all over, ladies and gentlemen. I still don't know where that treasure lurker is that they were teasing. I don't know if he's like a secret boss that only appears sometimes. I don't know what that's all about, but I do know that everything in a hard mode is capiche. And we now are not going to do a full hard mode run until we have many more piercing weapons available to us. But luckily, some laboratory runs should be able to prepare us for that. And I mean, we have the new Sector B to do too. And again, this should help us get some armor piercing weapons. And even, I don't know, man, like I'm saying, I think doing Sector A1 and A2 runs minus the bosses 
are going to be a pretty viable method of getting some reputation, getting some A plus cards. And I mean, you know, you're not going to be able to move on to the B plus sectors, but I think it's worth it, man. I really think we're going to end up, it's going to end up working pretty well for us. But let's go. Let's turn in the last few of these data discs that we got. And I think that's all that we got to turn in, lads and lassies. We are so close to the next level, but it looks like we are leaving off with the laboratory at level six. When we return, I think it goes without saying that there is a lot of fun to be had in this laboratory, especially with how we play our cards and stuff. So we got that to look forward to. I got a little bit of loot here to clean up, so I will hop on top of that. There's a lot of valuable stuff that I most definitely want to bring back to base. So I will start kind of putting that stuff away. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, there you have it. We have officially completed from start to finish a laboratory hard mode run minus the optional bosses, which let me just say we're gonna we're gonna need some nice weapons to do those and no worries we will do them that's gonna start wrapping it up follow me for now thank you guys for holding fortune and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya